Hi British Vogue, this is what's in my bag. <laughs> hello Emma's Lovely Life subscribers and hello to anyone new here today. I really hope that you enjoy this what's in my bag video. I'm actually really good at removing things from my bags and putting everything away if not strays away, then certainly later that day. But I went for a little trip to London yesterday and I thought, oh, this is like the, one of the only times that I'm gonna have interesting things in my bag. So <laughs> I made sure to keep it full and not take anything out of it until I filmed this video. So hopefully this will be a little bit more interesting. You may recognize my bag from my what's in my work bag video. Since then I've had a new work laptop and it doesn't fit in here anymore. So I don't use this for work, but I do use it a lot for like carry on on flights and I use it for city breaks, day trips to London, that sort of thing. Cause it's, it's not like cumbersome, it's not too big, but it's big enough that I can fit plenty in here if I need plenty. It is the Burberry Banner Tote and it has this lovely Burberry classic check detail and it's just a nice kind of in between like structured and quite relaxed bag and it has this removable cross body strap that I really like and the adjustable shoulder strap. So the first thing that I have to show you, I got the coach to London and it takes like three hours. So I took a book that I was really enjoying um, to encourage me to sit and read it because if I sit on my phone the whole time I obviously drain the battery which I don't want to do because the coaches don't always have somewhere to charge them. It just gives me a headache as well if I'm on my phone the whole time staring at a screen. I love this author. I'm not usually that into crime but I really like her stuff because it's crime but it's a little bit different. It's not always focusing on the detective and the solving of the crime it's about the victims and it's about the people that they know the people in their neighborhood it's about like nosy suburban neighborhoods where everyone knows each other and oh i have a plastic bottle of water sorry um i normally borrow jack's reusable bottle which i bought him for his birthday but he moans at me <laughs> he says that i only bought it so that i could use it myself so i'm trying to stop myself from taking it which means i did buy a couple of bottles of water in london there is nowhere really in london i suppose unless you took it into like a bar or something they probably would fill it up for you but i think that's something that london's really bad for is not having like water fountains for you to fill up your bottles with oh and this is something that you will see in my london vlog so i got this from Kensington Palace gift shop. Me and Katie and Millie, we all got one, so we're matching. And it is a little trinket box with these little like lovely beads. I was looking for gold really, because my room's kind of done in gold, but it is also gray. There is a lot of silver as well. A lot of my accessories gold. So it doesn't really matter though. It should still look nice on my desk. And I got this to put my vitamin C tablets in, because at the moment they're in like a bright orange vitamin C carton and it just doesn't look good. <laughs> Umbrella. Very, very important in England. Especially important yesterday. It was torrential rain <laughs> and we were outside a lot. So I got this from Amsterdam. Whenever I buy souvenirs, this goes for the trinket box from Kensington Palace as well. Whenever I buy a souvenir, I like it to be functional. I don't buy souvenirs for the sake of buying them. This, I have been a little bit sneaky. These are not the sunglasses that I took with me to London because I dropped them somewhere. I don't know what happened to them. Oh, these are my tortoiseshell Kate Spade ones. I actually got them from TK Maxx, so I got a really good deal on them. And I love these. And never once have I been out and about shopping or been looking online and thought, oh, I really love that pair of tortoiseshell sunglasses, or I really wish that I could buy them. I really wish that I didn't have these already. <laughs> Whereas with my black ones, which are the ones that I lost, yesterday. There's been quite a few times when I've seen black sunglasses and I thought oh, I wish I could buy them but I can't justify buying another pair of black designer sunglasses because I already have my Bulgari ones. So that is a sign to me that maybe I didn't really love them. Next I have my nail file which I don't think I needed to use yesterday but I like to always have it. It's a glass nail file that I just got from Amazon. I just like to always have a nail file with me when I'm out and about because there's nothing more annoying than when you get like a little sharp bit on your nail or a little, a little break. Then I have hand sanitizer because the pandemic made me paranoid. So I always have hand sanitizer with me now. I think this is just from Lidl. Um, I just pick them up when I'm grocery shopping and I realize that I've run out um, or I'm running low. So actually I do need to pick up some more quite soon because this is running low. What else have we got? Oh. Nurofen, I just always like to have painkillers with me when I'm on these days out because if I'm looking at my screen a lot, like on the train or on the coach, I often end up with a headache and I really don't want to be having a terrible headache. 
but luckily I didn't get a headache yesterday, so I didn't need to use them. Oh, my Burberry scarf. So it is the middle of summer, so you might be thinking, why did you take a cashmere scarf with you? Well, because the coaches are air conditioned, and so they can sometimes actually get a little bit chilly. So I just thought on the way home, um, when it's later, it might actually get a little bit cold, but it was, to be honest, it was really muggy all day. So I didn't really need to use this, but I'm glad I took it. It doesn't take up much room in my bag at all. It folds down, well, sort of rolls, I roll it down. Really small. I'd rather have it than not have it on these trips. So I'm glad I took it. There's a few things in here that I took, but didn't actually need, but you can guarantee the one time I don't take them will be the time that I need them. Is that everything? Oh no, no, I've got like a whole section. But oh, what are these? Oh, these are um, wipes for my glasses. So I wore contact lenses yesterday. It was a long day, so I knew that I wouldn't want to spend the whole day in contact lenses. So I took them out before I got on the coach and put my glasses on. So I just made sure that I had these lens wipes with me. And oh, I was, um, <laughs> I was on the coach on the way home and I was looking out the window. I was like, my glasses are really dirty. Like, I've just cleaned them. So I cleaned them again with another lens wipe. And I was like, oh, okay, that's better. And then I looked out the window, I was like, what? They're grimy again. And it was the window, it was the window that was grimy. <laughs> so I just wasted some lens wipes. Um, a few leads. So um, I have headphones. Ah. I um, I downloaded some shows from Netflix to watch on the coach. I always do that, that's a really good um, travel hack. Download shows from Netflix, Now, um, I think Prime do it as well. There's lots of streaming sites that you can have offline shows on, you can download them and watch them offline. So I downloaded Matilda the Musical and I watched that on the coach and it was actually brilliant. I love the original with Danny DeVito, but I would not say that you can compare the two at all. They are amazing films in their own right. And then just a couple of leads to charge my phone. So one of these is for my portable charger, which I will show you when I find it. And uh, one of them is just my normal charger. But I don't think there was actually anywhere that we sat or when I was on the coach or anything yesterday, I don't think there was anywhere that I could have actually plugged my phone in. So it's a good thing I did take my portable charger. Um, which I wasn't actually looking for then, so it's lucky that I picked it up just as I said that. And so this, I think I just got this from Amazon and I did actually drop it a little while ago. So whenever I put the lead in here, it like pushes out. So it's probably not gonna last much longer. <laughs> oh, we've still got quite a bit to go. Normally what's in my bag is like my phone, my bank cards, my keys not always even my keys. This is my little Osmo. So this is the camera that I used for vlogging yesterday. Hopefully it comes out okay, I haven't looked at the footage yet. But this is a little camera that Jack got for himself because he's a wildlife photographer and filmmaker. And then he gave it to me. He must have found that it wasn't really that good for his needs. Um, but it works quite well for me, especially because I have very shaky hands. So I took this yesterday because whenever I've tried like walking around and vlogging on my phone or on my camera, my normal camera that I'm talking to you now on, I just find that it shakes so much because my hands shake so much, whereas this stabilizes. So this um, hopefully will make for a much more smooth <laughs> London vlog, hopefully. I've actually used this since yesterday so it wasn't actually in my bag but it was in my bag yesterday so I feel like it counts this is my phone I have I think the iPhone 12 and um, here I have my bank cards which you can't see um, I know you want to see them internet thieves but you're not allowed and then on the front I have this little picture from Pinterest oops which is meant to represent simplicity because every month and I will film my monthly reset routine for you at some point but every month I like to pick a word of the month that I try and keep in mind whenever I'm out and about when I'm getting dressed when I'm eating I just try and keep like this word in mind and sometimes it goes well and sometimes it doesn't last month it was nourish and I started off really well and then for the rest of the month I was just eating takeaways and sweet things and <laughs> not doing very much exercise nearly there nearly there oh I picked up two things oh this is really annoying I took these, these little undry patches. Jack got them for me for Christmas. Unfortunately, they just weren't right for my skin. Like they really made my skin burn. So I had to take them off straight away, um, which is unfortunate. It's not Jack's fault, obviously. So I asked um, Katie if she wanted them and she said yes. So I took them to London to give to her and promptly forgot about them. So I brought them home with me. And then I also have my selfie stick, which again, I took with me completely forgot to use. Um, it has a little light on it. 
which I think might be out of battery now because I kept accidentally turning it on in my bag. You can also pull it out, use it as a classic selfie stick. Ooh, I think this is just from Amazon. And then also, if I can get this to work, it's a very basic tripod. You have to sort of take some time kind of getting it to sit right on the table, but it does work. So it's actually a really handy little piece of kit. But I always forget to use it. I always take it with me on these little girly days when I know we're going to be vlogging, when I know that we're going to be wanting to take pictures of each other, which actually we didn't take any pictures together yesterday. Um, but I always forget to use it. Nearly there. Oh, my keys. I have my car key. I have a key. I don't know what that's for. I have my keys to my mother-in-law's house. I have keys to our house. Keys to our back door. I have my little Morrison's card my library card and my rubbies and my key ring which I love look at the little boobs it's so cute and it's pink and last but not least second to last but not least this is my NARS concealer which I just took with me because I didn't I, was, I always have um, mascara running under my eyes and um, but I think I put enough kind of powder on under my eyes that I was okay yesterday but I just took this with me just in case I needed to touch up, but I didn't have to touch up, which is good. I don't really like touching up my makeup while I'm out and about enjoying my day. A lot of stuff that I didn't end up using. And then finally, I did use this quite a few times, um, my little travel hairbrush. I think this is from Primark. Um, it's just a really handy size just to throw in your bag. Well, thank you for joining me to see what's in my bag. Bit creepy. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.